The Tao of Self-Confidence, Episode 340. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I'm your host today, Sheena Yap Chan, and today I have a phenomenal lady on the show today. She is the chief community builder of Startup Asia Women, and I'm just really excited to have her on and share her story with us today. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Christina Teo. Christina, how are you today? Maybe you can fill in a little bit more about yourself to our listeners. I'm doing very well. Thank you, Sheena. Thank you for having me. I'm actually taking this interview from from Singapore. So greetings from Singapore. Basically, I came back to Singapore after like decades of leaving Singapore and uh, to start a community for women startups uh, to help women who are either running a startup or working in startups or planning to start a startup uh, to really help them to get resources and support they need. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And Christina, what's your cultural background? I'm a Singaporean Chinese. Thanks for sharing that. And what would be your favorite self-confidence quote? For me, it would be just be your best natural self. That's a great quote just because, um, you know, a lot of us feel like we have to be somebody else, especially in Asian countries, you know, growing up as an Asian woman, we're always told to be the good daughter, the good wife, the good sister, right. you know, never make mm-hmm. any noise. You know, just do as you're told. And we don't get to do the things that we want or that we're meant to do. So, you know, I really love that quote that you mentioned. And in your own words, how would you define self-confidence? For me, it's about daring to be different, daring to be unique. You know, it ties in with what I really believe in. Just be yourself. So you don't need to try to be somebody else, uh, but dare to still be different and be unique so that people will remember you and people will think of you as confident. Thanks for sharing that. I know so many people out there are afraid of being different, right? When there's really nothing wrong with it. It's just society kind of just programs us to just be one type of person, not be, you know, yourself or be different or be unique or be special because we all are here for a reason. We all have different talents and skills and, you know, attributes that we can contribute to the world. So I really like that definition that you mentioned. And Mm -hmm. Christina, what was your life like before your discovery of self-confidence? I think it's more like you don't really know if you're really interesting or if you if you have anything to offer to others. So it's, you kind of then close yourself off a little bit towards other people. You don't dare to step out and interact with other people. Thanks for sharing that. And I think that's something we all go through. I knew, I know I went through that. I always thought, you know, there was I, like, what's so special about me? I have nothing to offer. Who's going to listen to me or who's going to even want to, you know, talk to me. And we all go through that. We all have these questions and it really comes down to feeling like we're not worthy enough. And, you know, what was that point in your life when you realized that, you know, you are worthy and you can build that confidence and be the person you are today? What was that aha moment? I think for me, it was quite gradual as in I have a few key milestones like once when I was in school and I was assigned to be the conductress of the whole school for our national anthem and I did that for four years so when someone offered me the opportunity and put me in in such a prominent position you know that kind of just it was just a big opportunity that was given to me but if I really have to say the real aha moment where I really truly feel, wow, you know, now I'm on top of the world would be when I was asked to be the uh, master of ceremony for a really big event in one of the companies I worked for, Acer. And it was 500 people and it was a last minute appointment and I just took the microphone and I was able to, you know, really host this big event. And that's when I know nothing will stop me from now. Thanks for sharing that. And I love how you just took action on the opportunity. You know, a lot of people might get scared. It's like, you know, big company like Acer too, right? And 500 mm-hmm. people, like people, mm-hmm. you know, you just, you're like, oh my God, some people get straight stage fright or they fumble, mm-hmm. but you just went ahead and did it, you know, took action mm-hmm. and just owned it. And, you know, because of that, what's your life been like now? I think for me, it's 
just really strong beliefs. You know, every time anything presents it my uh, presents itself to me, I would just believe that I can do it. And I think that you know, it's it's a kind of practice as well. So every time you believe and something happens, and then you believe more and you believe more, and that's what's been happening in my life. And I think it's really true. You you have to take the opportunity. If you start asking yourself a lot of questions and you doubt and you don't take that step, then you will never know. I totally agree, you know, and it's great that you've been able to learn to believe in yourself because I think that's the first step, you know, just learning to believe in yourself, know you are worthy, know that you deserve better, um, mm -hmm. you know, just really believing that can really help you start taking action. It doesn't even matter if you screw up or not because, like, you just keep going, right? We all make mm -hmm. mistakes. It's all part of the process. Mm -hmm. And so, so it's great that you're able to do that. And, you know, to the woman who's listening to your episode, she may be in her own journey of self-confidence. What would be mm -hmm. that one tip you would give to her? I say dare to ask, you know, um, dare to ask, dare to believe, try to visualize. Sometimes maybe you can't visualize that big or that far, but visualize something positive that, that believe that it is possible. Um, and I think that will help in really creating maybe confidence, little confidence every day, a little bit at a time, a small little step at a time, and, and then it will grow. It will grow on you and it becomes second nature. Those are some great tips, and I love how you mentioned, you know, growing in small micro steps, because a lot of people feel like they have to take this big step to improve, but, you know, these small micro steps are also just as important, and, you know, it's like little by little, it, and you know, it adds up and it becomes, you know, something big. So I really love that you mentioned that. And if our listeners wanted to get to know a little bit more about you and what you do, is there any links or social media profiles we can connect with? Uh, I think right now, the biggest thing for me is really go to our Facebook. Facebook, uh, it's Startup Asia Women. Because over there, I share a lot about, you know, what's happening in the startup world. Uh, what are the resources that's available to women? What are we doing for women? And also, inspiring stories from women founders of startups. So I think that would be one of the best places to, to really see what I'm doing and where I want to take the community. Thanks for sharing that. And to our listeners, if you want to connect with Christina, you can also head on over to the TaoSelfConfidence.com and search for Christina's name. Her show notes will pop up along with everything else we talked about. And I just want to thank Christina for taking the time to share her story with us. So thank you so much. Thank you, Sheena. Thank you so much for taking the time. Not a problem. It was an honor having you on the show. And to our listeners, be on the lookout for another new episode of Another Amazing Woman's Journey to Self-Confidence. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Bye.